Tachograph is a test and measurement device for registration vehicle mileage, speed limits, and periods of driver's work and rest. In the upper picture, you can see the sensor for internal transportation, and the lower is for international transportation. Tachograph is required for monitoring observance of traffic rules and established regime of driver's work. That is aimed at preventing road accidents. Tracking unit, in its turn, displays the current mode of the tachograph, vehicle speed, current activity of the first and the second drivers, driver's card in a slot. Besides, with the help of tracking units, it's possible to upload DDD file from the driver's card. Such functionality is implemented in the tracking units with the help of EasyLogic technology. It is needed to use devices with algorithm support. You can find out whether the tracking unit supports algorithms or not in the following ways. In the specification, there should be abbreviation AI or sticker on the back of the device should have abbreviation 2 near IMEI. You can also send hard version command to the tracking unit. If you receive in response numbers different from zero after comma, algorithms are supported. Minimum firmware version should be 230.5. Tachograph can be connected either by RS-232 interface, in this case DDD file from driver's card can be uploaded separately, or by CAN interface to get current data from Tachograph. If both options are used, information can be received to the full extent. Connection of Tachograph and Galileo Sky Tracking Units is carried out in accordance with the following schemes. Grounds of the tracking device and Tachograph must be connected. Power supply is provided separately. Here you can see the pin definition of frontal connector and day connector in more detail. Device settings for tachograph connection are carried out via configurator software. Run configurator program on your computer, go to tab Digital Inputs and set nothing for RS-232 peripheral type parameter. Go to tab CAN, enter the following parameters for bus speed and filter type. Enter timeout value equal to 2000 meters per second. Now click Apply button. Activate engine ignition if CAN bus doesn't work without it. Click Listen CAN button and wait till scanning is completed. Here you will receive a special identifier. If the identifier is not found due to scanning, check connection and CAN bus operation because current data from tachograph will not be read. Add two records in filters table, tap CAN. We use our special identifier, you can see it in the screen. The following tag is used to transfer information about the card presence and current activity of a driver. Next message identifier is the following. This tag is used to transmit information about the speed. After that, go to tab Settings, Protocol in Configurator, set the main packet to transfer data from the server, then click Apply button. Now go to tab Commands, send the following command to download the algorithm. It is downloaded from the server, that is why SIM card should be installed and GPRS connection should be established on the tracking unit. To check if the command is run by the tracking unit, send script in several minutes after sending the previous command and make sure the reply includes information on the algorithm. To check algorithm operating, go to tab Troubleshooting, tick Algorithms parameter and check troubleshooting messages. If your software doesn't support receiving information from the tachograph through Galileo Sky Tracking device, you should individually develop and install software to the monitoring server, processing data in accordance with the protocol of exchange between the tracking unit and the server. You can find protocol information in Appendix 1 of the user manual which you can see in our site, in the sections Support, Documentation.
After you set up the tracking unit, you should carry out setting up of monitoring software. For example, in Wireless hosting, the data look in the following way. To download DDD files from the tackle graph to the server, it is necessary to send a command for DDD file request and send it to the tracking unit. Besides, a driver with the attached card number should be created in the system. Pay attention that transmission of DDD file is completed in parts and takes some time. To get data analysis of DDD files, you should use applications like Taco Manager or Taco View. Connection of the Taco Graph to Galileo Sky tracking device is completed. The tracking unit is ready for use.